Today, we will be learning about the Sicilian defense. Before we start, here is the last video's answer. I hope you got the answer. Even if you didn't, I will be sharing it with you. We play bishop to e3. The bishop is threatening to capture the king. The king can't move to b5 because the queen is defending it. He can't move to c6 because the queen is also defending it. The same goes for these two squares. The king can't move to any of these squares as the rook is defending them. And he can't move to this square because the bishop is. I hope you got the answer. The Sicilian defense happens when after white plays e4, black plays c5. Many strong players use this opening. For example, the number one player in the world, Magnus Carlsen from Norway, uses this opening. Since the Sicilian defense has many variations, we will be only looking at two of them. This is the Nydorf variation. As you can see, these seven moves form the Sicilian defense open Nydorf. In this variation, white usually castles queen side, while black castles king side. The advantages or benefits for both sides is that they, both sides have chances to attack their opponent's kings. The disadvantages is that they can attack very well and checkmate your king. Here is the Shivaningan variation. It is very similar to Nidorf, since white usually castles queenside and black castles kingside. But some differences are that black pushed e6 instead of e5. And you, sometimes black is slower in attacking white's king. In my opinion, if I was black, I would prefer the knight off. What do you think? Let me give you a challenge. In this position, white has just took something on h6 with his bishop. Black, as you can see, can take white's bishop. In this position, would you do so? The answer will be in my next video. I hope you can get the answer. That's it for today and thank you for your time. If you enjoyed the content, please consider to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.